hey guys, here's the moment we've all been waiting for. So uh, basically the color that I'm going to use, I just did a custom uh, color, which is the uh, neutral gray with a little bit of flat black to basically get a darker gray. So anyway, let's see what happens here. I'll zoom you in and, and get going. Okay, <clears throat> so that is probably good for right now. I'm going to go ahead and let that dry, and we'll peel off the frisket and see what that sucker looks like. Okay, it's time for the moment of the truth here. Let's see how this sucker looks. some shapes here. Aha. Okay, looks like that's our first little uh, screw up there. I think that's where I went a little too deep with the X-Acto knife, but we can fix it. The, um, <clears throat> the thing with the rudder is this is balsa covered in fiberglass and this is just straight up fiberglass, so this has a little bit more <clears throat> integrity to it. So, all right, well, let's get in there. Uh, let me grab the exacto knife. I think it looks pretty darn good, um, obviously except for <laughs> our little screw up areas there, so I'll have to touch it up. But uh, basically what I'm going to attempt to do next is um, wet sand with um, probably some uh, 600, 800 grit sandpaper just to try to take the edge off a little bit. Um, then I'm going to attempt to go through and fix some of this uh, area back there, but for the most part, I think it turned out pretty good for my first attempt. Um, 
Lip Ripper made a comment on uh, on the YouTube video. Um, what he does is actually puts on uh, puts the frisket onto a piece of um, uh, shiny like poster board, cuts it all out on that, and then applies to um, the airplane. That way, you don't end up with anything like this. So, um, so we'll see. Uh, maybe I'll try that on the uh, other side, and uh, we'll kind of compare. But um, for sure, we probably would have been able to avoid this using that technique. So, all right. Just wanted to give you the update on how this turned out, and I think it turned out pretty good for the first time. Okay, guys, before I post it up on the YouTube, I wanted to show you as close up as I can get. Um, this is the side that's actually on the vertical stab, and it is nearly perfect. There's a uh, that one little spot there where it pulled up from the uh, primer but uh, that's the only spot on all this. This is after I've sanded it. I used 800 grit wet dry sandpaper I wet sanded and that is absolutely perfect so that's what we want. Now what we don't want <laughs> you can see what a difference um, I may just sand this, reprime it. Uh, I'm gonna have to do some filling kind of up in the air. I, I don't know if I want to take the time to fix it or just try it again. So anyways, but uh, it's a learning experience and I want it to be perfect. So this side, not so much. The fiberglass side, awesome so anyway I think that's about as close as I can get it and the bad I mean it's just like a, a night and day difference there it's uh, actually pretty surprising so But that's how you learn. That's the first time I've used that. And uh, overall, I'm really happy with it. And this, this will be pretty easy. I mean, except for the sucky part of having to sand it and reprime it and paint it and gloss coat it and then put this on again. Um, I mean, at least uh, now I've got a pretty good idea. And then, uh, sorry I was messing with you guys on... <laughs> On the reveal there I had to have a little bit of fun but um, but actually exacto does make a, a knife that has a pivoting end and um, be a lot easier to do some of this kind of detail uh, with that the uh, straight edged you know wants to make straight lines and so that was another thing that I kind of uh, struggled with I mean not not too bad but right there on the on his brow that would have been a lot easier with that knife and then all those little whoop de doops right there and around his nose and all that so anyhow um, it's all about having the right tools and unfortunately uh, to have the right tools you also have to have the money but uh, this is this is why I'm doing it this way I'd, I'd love to have some of those dry transfers but I, I just don't have the money for it or if I spend the money on that then I can't get batteries or I can't get a receiver or you know and I'd like to have this done at some point so anyway all right now I'm officially uploading this